Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Ram Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made, and we've made up our minds to rejoice and be glad in it. Joy is a choice. Don't let nothing hold you down. Don't let that sadness on the inside rob you of the blessings for today. You know why? The joy of the Lord is your strength. It's a decision. Just walk away from that awful situation or that fellow that keep annoying you. Walk away for a while and get God's divine formula to come back and relate better with that person. God has something for you. Just keep trusting him, keep believing him, and things will work out for you. Yesterday, we were looking at Colossians chapter number 1. We read from verse number 24 and 25. And, you know, we got to 26, actually, 25 and 26. And, you know, looking at 26, Paul was talking about the fact that the gospel to which he has become, you know, the minister of God is the mystery that was hidden for many ages, for many ages. It was hidden. You know what? Uh, all of the prophets and priests that came before him tried to provide the solution. They had a glimpse. The best of what they had was a glimpse of what is to come. You know, they talked about it. They waited for it, but they didn't experience it. Now, Paul had this awesome privilege of preaching that same gospel. Christ in us is the hope of glory. We're coming to that. By virtue of the life that Jesus lived and when he offered himself on the cross and paid the supreme price for the redemption of mankind, it became possible for us to have our sins completely forgiven, washed away, and giving us access to the presence of God Almighty. What a glorious opportunity we have. We can thank God enough. And so Paul called it a mystery which was hidden for ages and generations from angels and men. But is now revealed to his holy people, the saints. It's now revealed. Beloved, is revealed. It's no longer hidden. It's no longer a mystery. It is now revealed. When God conceals it, it's a mystery. But when he reveals it, all oh, is a revelation. Did you get that? When he conceals it, it's a mystery. When he reveals it, it's a revelation. And when it is revealed, we should shout about it, talk about it, let the whole world know about it. And that's why we are getting across to you some good news here. You know. And it is revealed to his holy people, the saints. It's not just given to any man. Somebody can be in intellectually sound and not be able to understand the simple message of the gospel because it's not physical, it's spiritual. It has to be revealed to you for you to have to comprehend it. In verse number 27, Paul went on to explain the word of God. And let's read that. It says, To whom God was pleased to make known how great for the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ within and among you, the hope of realizing the glory. The Christ in us is the hope of realizing the glory. You cannot realize or walk in the glory without Christ on your inside. And that's why Paul was explaining here. He says, to the saints, this gospel was revealed, the mystery was revealed. And it pleased our Father, Heavenly Father, to make it known to unto us. And he's talking about how great for the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of these mysteries. Come think about that. The Jews had a kind of solution by the atonement, by lamb, you know, animals, you know, animals sacrificed and offered to Jehovah, not to some idols, all right? And when the time of the eternal redemption was made manifest, it wasn't just to Jews alone. It wasn't just to Israel. It was made manifest to the rest of the world 
and you know, first to Israel and then to the rest of the world. That's what Jesus said, you know. But you see, there's nobody who is exempted or alienated from this. And this is why it is a great and glorious mystery. We have a place in this glorious walk with God by the blood of Jesus, you looking at me right now, who is a Gentile who would not have been saved, who had no right to approach God. Do you know the Gentiles were in a different court in the old temple, right? There was the court of the Gentiles. They dare not walk into the holies of holies. But the mystery that was, un was unraveled and was unveiled by the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ makes it possible for us, you and I, Gentiles, who were Gentiles, to come into the presence of God. And that is so serious and so dif difficult for those who were Israelis and even up to today to comprehend. But it's a great privilege for us to be part of the family of God, of the people of Israel. And it's such a huge opportunity. And Paul called it Christ in us is the hope of glory. If you've not got Jesus on your inside, you are so poor. The riches that we talk about, he talked about the great riches made known to the Gentiles. The great, the riches of the glory of this mystery, the riches of the glory of this mystery is Christ in us, the hope of glory. Do you have Jesus on your inside? Have you made him your Lord and Savior? Or are you just living life in your own terms? If Jesus is not yet your Lord and Savior, you have so much to work for. And you know what? The best of your effort is not going to be good enough. You come by faith and ask him to forgive your sins, to come into your life. Accept that he is taking care of your internal, you know, uh, place and rest with God. And let him fix your life and so his glory will be made manifest in your life. Till I come your way again, I'm Ego Lewis Yegwebu. God bless you.